to my channel so today in this video I'll be showing you how to make a box pleated dress this is the updating trend nowadays most of the celebrities you can see wearing this kind of box pleated brocade skirt so today I'm going to show you how to make the pretty trendy beautiful outfit so to make this outfit you need only two measurements that is going to be the waist of your skirt and the full length of the skirt so you're going to take this measurement according to your waist and the full length of the skirt falls from from the waist length till your ankle length is going to be the full length of the skirt so now I'll be showing a small calculation so that you need to measure the fabric according to the waist to make the box pleat okay so first take your waist of the skirt is 29 inches actually the waist of the skirt is 28 inches I have added one inch of seam allowance so totally it's going to be 29 inches so now uh, 29 inches into so now you're going to decide the length of the box pleat you're going to keep for your skirt so if you want the box pleat to be 2 inch you're going to multiply this 29 by 2 inch if you want the box to be 3 inch you're going to multiply this by 3 inch so that is absolutely depends upon you I just want each box pleats to be uh, 3 inches so what I'm doing here is I'm going to multiply 29 into 3 now I got the answer of 87 inches I've been measuring my fabric length to be 87 inches after taking the 87 inches I'll be marking 3 3 inch to make the box pleat okay now I'll be measuring that 87 length inches to my skirt so this is going to be the length of the skirt so just keep your measuring tape over here and you're going to measure that 87 inches on your skirt okay so just like that you're going to go so from here just mark 3 inch again mark 3 inch okay so you're going to mark this 3 inch to the entire skirt, okay? I'll be taking this marking and I'll be overlapping that to the first marking, okay? And take the second marking and you're going to insert the second one underneath so that you get a very beautiful box pleat like this. Okay. so this 3 inch is going to pop up like this and the rest of the marking would be getting inside the pleats okay so now let me pin this in place like this okay 3 inch marking is going to meet up over here so like this same like that I'll be making the pleats to the entire skirt made the box please to the entire skirt so let me show you how to join the band to this I just made a waistband like this so the waist is going to be 29 inches but the waistband is measuring uh, 33 inches so I'll show you how to attach this and also I'll be attaching the zip on the side so let me show you the stretching of this the top part of the box pleat you're going to join 
both the ends like this and you're going to sew the bottom edge now I'm going to join both the ends of this skirt so just place like this and you're going to leave a 3 to 4 inch to insert the zip to this so leaving the 3 to 4 inch I'll be sewing this just by joining both of these together just start by putting some back stretch and you're going to sew all the way down to finish the skirt take the 3 inch of opening and I'll be attaching the zip to this so this is a normal zip this is not an invisible zip so take the normal zip and make sure that the pre side of the zip is going to face down so once you attach the one side of the zip into zip this going to take the next side of the fabric and you're going to lay on the zip okay and you're going to sew on the exact margin of the zip okay so just like that I'm going to lay this and let me sew this together so if you want you can pin that in place and then you can sew okay gonna be the pretty side of the fabric all you're going to do now is so you're going to take a little bit of this fabric and you're going to overlap like this zip will be concealed inside okay so I'll be sewing on the exact margin of this fabric Just turn a little bit and you lock the stretch over your hand. Let me open the zip and show you. See, it will be very simple and easy to make. So now you're going to cut out the excess zip hanging on top like this. Okay, so now I'll be attaching the waistband to this. Okay, now I'm going to attach the waistband. So before attaching the waistband, all I'll be doing is just fold the waistband like this and just sew that on top just take one off stretch over this side of the waistband what we sewn right now okay and then I'll be attaching this on top of my zip part so I'll be attaching and you're going to attach the skirt just like that underneath this and you're going to put a top stretch and then you're going to attach this waistband exactly at the end point of the skirt perhaps I'm going to leave at least a three inch over here and I'm going to cut this out okay just go like this okay. so once you sew the waistband it just looks like this all I'll be doing now is I'll be folding on top of this to finish off the style so before that all I'll be doing is just fold this like such and be sewing that okay. and you're going to turn this inside fabric out so that you'll get a very neat finish okay. just with the help of your scissors just take the pointy tip of this which which 
to make the work really neat. Okay. Now it's done, so you're going to zip this like it and you're going to put a hook over here. Okay, so when you feel it's a little bit loose, all you can do is when, when you add a hook and eyes over this side, you're going, you can adjust the waistband as much as you want. Okay, so that will be helpful when you're sewing this for your kids. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew the down part like this and uh, let me show you how it's going to look once it's done this is going to be the end result of the dress you can see how beautiful it is so you can see the pleats it just came out really well to the down part i have just folded a little bit like this and i finished by sewing that on top that's it for now and if you like this video and if you want more videos like this please do click on the subscribe button below and also don't forget to hit on the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button if you want more videos like this see you next time with a different kind of style take care bye bye